Hey guys, this is Amanda with Style Digital, and today I'm going to show you how to add a sticky sidebar to your Squarespace site. So what the effect we're going to achieve is um, this sidebar here with these three links. When I scroll down, I'm going to have it stick to the top of the browser. So I saw other tutorials doing the same effect. Uh, the only thing that I um, didn't like about those was that it used jQuery and I didn't want to load a whole JavaScript library onto my website just to get this effect so I just googled vanilla JavaScript sticky sidebar and this was the first one that came up and as you can see from this example here this is what we want so we'll just copy this script here and we'll go into settings advanced code injection and then we're going to just place this in our footer all right and then we're going to change the selector down here where it says sticky we're going to change that to folder now as that is the class of um, the sidebar here and save that all right if we go up here we'll see that this now sticks to the top. Now the only thing is is that um, it will stick to the very top with no space in between because it's set to stick to um, basically the position of top zero. So in order to change this to get a little bit more padding in between there we're going to go back to our script and then we're going to go to this line right here, this element style top, and we're going to change this to 40 pixels. Okay, now what that's going to do is that's going to, once it's fixed to the, once it fixes it to the top of the browser, it's going to also, um, it's also going to space it down 40 pixels. So in order to, um, compensate for that because we don't want a it, we don't want it to jump 40 pixels we're going to change this offset up here to minus 40 pixels or minus whatever value you have here okay so if you look at our site now you'll see that it sticks with a little bit of padding there, so that's exactly what we want. Okay. And the only other adjustment we're going to make to this is to make sure that this does not run on, um, the, that this function does not um, happen if uh, you're on mobile. So what we're going to do is just add a um, a little conditional here to make sure that it does not run on mobile. All right, and there you have it. That is how you make a sticky sidebar in Squarespace with no jQuery. I hope this is helpful to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, email me at amanda at styledigital.com. And if you need, if you'd like the this code snippet, uh, it is on my website at styledigital.com. Thanks.